Okay, we got the uh, front brakes all looked after in the uh, in Kermit here. There he is. Um, just check the pads and see to make sure they're okay for safety. And uh, the pins, the calipers slide on. I wanted to make sure they were lubricated. They weren't, so I got that all done. Then we're going to get a cosmetic stuff now. Like this here. It's supposed to be flat black. But uh, it's not. So I'm going to tape that off and paint that up. And then there's spots on the side here. I might same just touch up. Um, and then fix the wipers, of course. That's the big one. Uh, I just want to do the paint thing because my garage isn't heated. And it's fairly mild right now. But it is January and it's supposed to be getting cold again. Um, so I want to do it while I get a little bit of heat, heat in the garage to do some painting. And then same with the roof. I'm going to uh, deal with this rust. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not there, but I need to do something with this. So I'm going to sand it down, put some Bondo in the holes, a couple of small holes, sand that down, and then I got a, it's like a spray on bed liner type stuff. I'm going to tape it off and just basically paint in between the rails right here, black, and it'll be kind of textured, almost like rubberized. So it'll be actually grippy. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the roof rack back on over top and it'll look like part of the roof rack. This square will be black, that's all. It's the, uh, I think that's the quickest and easiest way to fix it. The proper way is, uh, you know, it's rusting from the inside. It's the, uh, the support beams that go across on the roof are uh, the glue that glues into the roof. Apparently there's been, a, there was a problem. All, all these uh, cars do it. Um, the glue eats into the rust from the inside and that's why you notice it just seems to be in, in straight lines. That's where the uh, the beams are in the inside. So everybody says, oh, the prop way is, you know, take the interior out and scrape that out and re-glue it. And it's like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of work. This isn't a show car. This is just going to be a, a daily driver, a beater type thing. So I'm thinking just sand this down, clean it up, put some uh, rust stop on there, body fill, undercoat. And do that uh that'll be good enough it's uh it's you know it's what, a 30 year old car and that's how much is rusted in 30 years so if i get a few more years out of it by doing the way i want to do it that's good enough for me like i said it's not a show car it's uh it's in good shape but it's you know it's still it's, it's a 700 dollars car that's what i paid for it you know so uh that's what i'm doing Okay, I've got the uh, the cover for the wipers off and the wiper arms off. Gave them a quick coat of spray paint, kind of hanging over there, uh, just to clean them up too. Because my wipers aren't working. And well, uh, besides wiper stuff under there, I pulled these two uh, wasp nests out from under there. Luckily, there's none in there, or maybe a couple that are that might be dead, but. That's like, I don't know, four or five nests I found in this car. So one in the gas cap area, one of the wipers, in a door jam, in the back tailgate. Anyway, I think I got them all. And I found this arm falling off. I'm guessing these bushings here wore out and it fell off. I'm trying to push them on, but I don't got a lot of room in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna undo these three bolts and just take the whole assembly out, see if I can push it together then. And then this part here will go on the wiper motor, which is tucked up under here. But I can get to it here, through this hole. So I could fight with it, but it's easier just to, for sake of six bolts, pull that whole thing out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just noticed something as I'm taking off this uh, wiper. Other than bees nests. I got this thing here. Looks like a snake skin. Like a little garter snake or something. So 
So this thing's been sitting in the wild for a while. <laughs> That's a proof of wildlife anyways. It's, I thought it was a tape or something, but it's actually, it's like a snake skin. Well, I'm glad there's no snakes in here, at least haven't found yet. Okay, there's the bolt I snapped off, but it's got two more holes and it should be fine. You can see where the uh, other arm pushes on, like so. If I can get that to snap back in, then great. If not, I can replace this uh, plastic bushing here. We got a kit somewhere for that. And then the other end goes on to the, onto the wiper motor, which is down in here. So, it'll be a little harder to get at. But, it's, that's what we're doing now. So I got wipers. I was just noticing, you got these two holes where the wipers came through. There's a third one here. I'm wondering, actually, you know what? That's probably for, if it's a right-hand drive. So the wiper's going this way. They'll go this way. So, anyways, it's kind of interesting to see. That it's originally designed for as a right hand drive. Same as a brake booster down here. Normally that's on the driver's side of the car over here, but uh, again, it was originally a right hand drive car, so they probably easier left it there. I think under the dash there's a bar that goes across to the brake pedal on this side. I had a 78 Civic, was the same way, but uh, it's just kind of weird because I'm used to the brake cylinders being on here, but it's over here. Anyways. Let's see if I can get this thing fixed. Okay, I think I got the arms uh, hooked up in there. I just put that bushing on there and hit it with a hammer and it snapped on there and now it's, I can't pull it off. So it must have just been popped off when the wipers were froze or stuck or something. So uh, got them bolted back in. Before I put it all back together with the wipers on, I'm actually gonna turn it on, make sure this moves back and forth. And I didn't put them backwards or upside down. The wipers go instead of this way, they go down or something stupid like that. So I'm gonna try that right now. So let's, uh, turn the key on. Okay. The wipers. Yeah, here we are. There's it working. So well, there's the front wipers done. Um, I think I'm gonna try and paint that black on the edge of the hood there. No, now it's all wet. Shit, I gotta clean it anyways. And then I'll uh, turn the van around the garage so I got more room working the back end. I'll do the rear wiper and check the rear brakes. I think I'm done. I think it should be ready to go. That'd be freaking awesome. I'm gonna phone the insurance company, get insurance put on it, get the safety done, insurance put on it. And, uh, oh, I gotta fix the roof. There's something else. Okay. All right. I got the, uh, the area just quickly taped off and papered around that. I'm just going to do a quick spray can, uh, rattle can of flat black. So it's supposed to be there. Um, I cleaned it up with uh, brake cleaner and that, give it a quick wipe down. So it should clean up. I put some, uh, tape over the end of the squirters so I don't get any paint in the squirters themselves. Uh, I was going to try and pull them out, but they were a pain. It was quicker just to go. Just a quick, quick little spray paint. Alright, 
it's mostly dry. I'm impatient. I want to peel off the paper and see what it looks like. See if you can get a get the whole thing in there or not. See what it looks like. And uh, yeah, just careful not to touch the, the paint. So here goes nothing. better. That looks a ton better. I'm, I'll have to put up a before and after shot, assuming I have a before shot. But, uh... Yeah, that just looks a lot more cleaner, neater it'll be. Once I wash the whole vehicle, like the hood's just filthy. The whole vehicle's filthy, but... That uh, turned out pretty good. I'm gonna have to uh, do this now. At least in here. To match that. But that looks pretty good. And the wipers are working. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, cleaning this roof up a bit. Cause it's, uh, we get cold the next few days. My garage isn't heated the best. And I want to uh, put some paint on this and some Bondo. So what I'm doing, I think I've explained this before, is I'm gonna grind off all this rust, sand it down really good, maybe get the flappy disc out a bit. You can see where it's pretty deep. There's actually a little hole there, eh? So it probably leaks. Um, and it looks like hell. So I'm gonna sit, just sand it down, grind it down fairly smooth and then paint, I'm gonna spray on like rocker guard, uh, deadliner type stuff. It's black, I'm just gonna do it just between the rails, the two rails there, I've taken the roof rack off as, as you see. Uh, and you can see where the straps used to be and that's how much the paint has faded. So instead of you know smoothing it out and painting it, I'm going to uh, use black uh, rocker guard because I'll never match this paint, it's faded so much. And I've paint the whole car, and I can't do that. So, just gonna do black between the ra black rails here. You know, tape it off here and across, and then uh, just do the the black stone guard type thing, which it'll be slightly textured and kind of rubberized a little bit, so it'll give it a little bit of grip. So I put the roof rack back on. It'll look like just the bottom part of the roof rack, and a bit of grip will be good. It'll clean up. I think it'll look, well, it'll look a lot better than what this is. Anyways, I mean, there's some really bad rust holes here. They're not quite rust holes, but pretty darn close. All right, I've just started uh, doing the grinding here. I don't know how it's going to show up on this uh, phone here. But you can see the, get the light just right. All the rust that just underneath that bubbling paint. And then over here, you can actually see there's like holes that have gotten right through. So, I'm going to keep grinding that down. It's more there. I got more. So, yeah, I got to deal with that. So, right way or wrong way, that's what I'm doing. Grinding off the rust. I'll throw some Bondo in there. And then I'll put this rubber sealer rock guard type thing on top to... Keep everything dry and hopefully look pretty good. Will it rust some more? It just might. I got the other half over there to do. But it's going to be a heck of a lot better than it was. And it'll last a while, I think. As I said, it took 30 years to get this far. So I'll put some rust inhibitor on there too after I've uh, finished grinding it all down. And then like I said, I'll just bondo it and clean it up. It's, it's can't believe how bad that is, but uh, consider the rest of the cars pretty decent. Except for the brake lines, of course. <laughs> so, continue on this messy job. I think I'll set the, uh, maybe the GoPro up and we'll do a little time lapse or something like this for some of this. But uh, yeah, that's where we are.
So that's the majority of the rest. I'm just doing between the uh, the roof rack rails. It's a little bit here, but then I start getting into body work. I could bring the line out to here and just tape it off. Probably fine, but there's other little spots here and there bubbling. You know, I start doing a whole body work job. It's like this is stuff like I want to take care of. That's a little bubble. It's not through. I'll deal with that later if I have to. Um, kind of, kind of draw a line somewhere. This obviously needed to be done. We got some holes there. Another one over there. So I'm going to uh, give it a quick sand down in between. Actually, maybe I'll wipe it down, tape it off, sand down everything. It's like the paint, so it's got some grip. Bit of body work in the bondo in the uh, holes, and uh, let that set and dry. And then, like I said, just uh, paint it black um, with like a stone guard, chip guard, rubberized sealant. Seal that up, put the rack back on, and uh, that'll be that. Making a mess though. But uh, yeah, it's, look at it. chunks of rust. That's what was coming out of uh, these holes here. So you can see it's it's gone right in there. Looks like hell, that's what it does. But clean it down, get some bondo in it. That's what I'm gonna do next. Alright. Okay, before uh, I put any bondo to this, uh, these rust holes, speed holes. Um, I'm gonna put some uh, rust converter on it. Hopefully it'll stop uh, what ruster is, or at least slow it down. And it says you can put this on and then paint over top of it and all that crap. So it should be fine to put this on first. Let it dry, just take on dry, and then mix up the Bondo, put the Bondo on, we'll smooth it out. And then when that's dry, put a coat of uh, uh, bed liner or rocker guard or whatever you call it. It's like a rubberized black coating. And then put the roof rack back on. So uh, it's a lot worse than I thought. I seen some bubbles, but uh, they got holes. But it's, so obviously I got to deal with it. Just never seen a car rust out of the top first. All right, I got the first layer of bondo on. I'll let that dry, set up, give it a sand down, smooth. Make sure there's no really holes. It does not be perfect because it's on the roof. No one's going to see it. And I'm going to put like a, they said a coating of stone guard on it, so it won't be smooth. Then it would be textured. So, uh, so yeah. So there we are. The holes are filled. And now I'm just going to said let her dry, sand it down, and then uh, put the stone guard on. <sighs> a lot of work to make the roof look pretty that no one's going to see. But the big thing was to keep the water out because, like I said, as you've seen, there were some holes there, and uh, I don't want to get wet. I've already done a rally with no roof, so uh, I don't need to do one with a roof that has holes in it. Okay, got it all bonded up. Uh, I just give it the first sanding there. But that's what she's going to look like. Clean it up. See this green tape I put around. Everything inside of this green tape area is going to be painted black. As it's like a stone guard, so uh, hopefully it'll be a little grippy. So this does not be perfectly smooth you can see the little divot here where the one hole was i might just leave it there because you're not even going to notice it once i uh spray on the uh the stone guard so but that's where we're coming so far uh i've got the camera running while i'm doing this a lot a lot of dust and overspray and that and i don't want to get in the camera and i'm just a one-man crew so there we are it's coming up it'll look great trust me I'm actually quite uh, pleased with how it turned out. It's drying now. I gotta go around and clean up some bit of an overspray that uh, you know I oversprayed on. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of looks like a vinyl roof. But uh, light texture is kind of rubberized, seals up the roof, and uh, I'll put the roof rack on there so you won't even see it most of it anyways. But I think it'll blend in nice. 
I'm gonna try to get the glare off the lights. It's so shiny right now. It'll probably dry a flat, uh, flat black. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look all right once I peel all the tape off and that. Put the roof rack back on, and you guys thought I was crazy. Yeah, that's what I used. Rocker guard black. Um, somewhere in there is just rubber eye. But anyways, that's what I used. Whole can. I think that's gonna look all right. I'll uh, heat it up. Uh, spray it on or whatever. I'm gonna start peeling the tape off now. Just cause this part is cool. It's hard to do this one-handed. Uh, you see a couple spots I'm a little thin on, but I think it'll be fine. Here's where it's gonna look really neat. Uh, the glue stuck on there, but. Oh, now I'm getting black on everything. It's not quite dry, but I really wanted to see what it looked like. So that's what it's going to look like. I'll show you when the roof rack's on. All right, I've finished the uh, roof repair. We've got the uh, black coating on, cleaned up the rust, put uh, Bondo in the holes, and then sand it down, and then put this uh, stone guard type stuff on there, put the roof racks back on. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, there, on to the next project. Now, the only thing left to do now is my uh, license plate lights aren't uh, working. And uh, I pulled them out here. And they're, they're, they're pretty crusty. They're all rotted out. You know, probably no ground on them. So, I'm working on putting some in there trying to find some lights to put in there I went to Canadian Tire and they just had the round uh, ones that go for like a, a pickup truck bumper and uh, I don't know how I was gonna get those to mount and they were $10.99 each which I thought was ridiculous so which would have been you know it's uh, $22 in, in tax so I bought this it's an LED strip for 20 bucks so I saved two dollars and there's two strips, and it looks like you can cut them to the length. And they're 12 volts, so I'm going to wire those up. And they got two-sided tape on them, so hoping they can uh, use that to stick it in there somehow. So I have a uh, license plate. I've put a plate or something in there. The hardest part is getting them out. The easier if I could take this plastic piece off, which I started to. I took the wipers, took the wiper off, done bolt this, but. The bolts on the other side are so rusty, it's going into plastic, it's just spinning, so I managed to get the wires out, and I have to do something with that. So, that, so that's the project I'm working on now, is the uh, license plate lights, LED strips, Let's see how it works. Okay, another update on the license plate lights, because nothing is ever as easy as it should be. Um, I've more or less set it in where I want, I'm going to stick it up in there, it gives enough light to light the license plate. I tried tapping into these wires and I have no power. So I went back and tapped in here to see, and there's still no power. So I followed that wire back through here and I found this. It's been busted off. So here's the other end to it right there. So I'm going to try and connect those two through the, you know, put it back through the, the boot there. And, uh, I did check here. I do have power here, so obviously here's my problem. Oh, so who knows how long that's been broken? And how long it's been without license plate lights? But get that fixed, so then I can get power back up to here, and power back up to here, and then power to my strip. 
just for license plate lights. Nothing's ever easy. Why would it be? Here's where we are at the uh, LED strip. Came with two of them. The package came with two of them. There's that one there. I got another one in here, which, where is it somewhere in here? I'm not gonna need, even though I can't find it. It's a good thing I don't need it. Ah, there it is. Yeah, so it's just another strip. Now you can cut them to size, but I think if I just use one, I don't need one. Double-sided tape. So I've kind of tucked it in behind here. I think I'm gonna stick it right to the body. Across here, light up the license plate. There's my latch to open the uh, hatch. But I think that, I think that'll do it. So I just gotta wire this wire into that wire for the headlights, which turn on the license plate lights. And that'll be done. I can put it all back together. So yeah. That's what we're going to do. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Anyways, there's my LED light. Nice and bright. Enough to let the license plate turn the lights off. We'll see here. Yeah, so that should be enough to light up the license plate. Actually, I see it looks like a little bit of red up there, but that gives me a license plate light, finally. Perfect. I think we're ready for safety. We got no no fuel leaks, no brake line leaks. Uh, brakes work. All the lights work now. Uh, fix the holes in the roof. Um, start, steer, stop. Take her in and see what they say. But uh, I should stay on the road. Now we can start doing stupid stuff to it once it gets through safety. But put new wipers on it. Um, Fix the fuel tank. It's been a long list. You've been following along, you know. Anyways, we are finally, finally done.